twenty, my dear and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster Pat McNamara, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected. A third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. The mother says not to work too hard. Be sure to come on home soon. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 15 and 30, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow healthy and strong. Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble. I suppose he never will learn. Because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of. And now we have nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy, you named a child for her. You know she has six of her own. You say you found work, but you don't say what kind. Or when you're coming home. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 15 and 40, dear Michael and John, my sons. I'm sorry to give you the very sad news, your dear old mother is gone. We buried her at the church in Kilkelly, your brothers and Bridget were there. You don't have to worry, she died very quickly. Remember her in your prayers. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning with money. Be sure to buy land. For the crop has been poor and people are selling at any price that they can. Kill Kelly Ireland 15 and 50. My dear and loving son John, I guess I must be close on 80. It's 30 years since you've gone. Because of all of the money you sent me, I'm still living out on my own. Michael has built himself a fine house, and Bridget's daughter's grown. Thank you for sending your family portrait. They're lovely young women and men. You say you might even come for a visit. What joy to see you again. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 15 and 52. My dear brother John. I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you Father is gone He was living with Bridget She said he was cheerful And healthy right down to the end You should have seen him playing with the grandchildren Of Michael McNamara, your friend And we buried him alongside of Mother down out the Kill Kelly churchyard. He was a strong and a feisty old man, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you. He called for you at the end. Why don't you think about coming to visit? We'd all love to see you. 